Hey everybody, it's me again. I'm just taking another walk today and I had like J-E-S-C on my mind. So I was like, why don't we just make another video and talk about it? I've reacted to my first JESC 2020 entries, the first three that I've reacted to, and they're actually the first three JESC 20 or JESC entries that I've reacted to, period, right? And so this uh, 2020 for Junior Eurovision is the first Junior Eurovision anything I've ever seen, watch, whatever. And so I wanted to just talk about my thoughts so far, and we can continue talking about them as we react to the rest of the JESC 2020 entries and then even go back and do some others. So let's just start with Poland because Poland was the first JESC um, 2020 entry that I reacted to. And like I said, since I don't know JESC, it's the first JESC entry that I've ever heard in full actually. So let's start with Poland. So there are a couple of things that really impressed me about Poland on first listen. And I've listened to the song a couple of more times since and they still continue to impress me. The first thing is obviously her voice. Um, Alicia Trac is the artist, and her voice really impresses me. Um, at the beginning of the song, it's really quite, it's really nice, right? But even more so, the way that the song allows her voice to blossom throughout, to the point where at the end she's hitting those really high extended belts, um, belting like, you know, like an adult would with that kind of technique, that level of artistry. But at the same time, really having that piercing quality of a child's voice that makes it sound, you know, like she's the proper age, right? Because of course she's only, I think you told me, 10 years old. So it's like, yeah, we want her to sound like a 10 year old. And she does sound like a 10 year old, but a 10 year old who has uh, masterful singing techniques. So I really love her voice um, and the way that the song and her voice blossom together. The other thing that really impressed me about Poland's entry is like the, the um, content of the song. But I'm really impressed by the fact that um, the content of the song is really quite adult. So this whole I'll be standing, like I'm gonna persevere message, it's like, if you think about it, a 10 year old singing that, like 10 year olds, it's possible for 10 year olds to have been through some stuff. But at the same time, you know, you would likely hear that more in an adult Eurovision song as somebody who's lived a longer life. But I actually appreciate that the content of the song is a little bit more um, adult sounding because um, I was a little bit afraid when I began reacting to Junior Eurovision entries that they would be like really kid-like. And you know, that's, that's nice like that would be perfectly fine perfectly acceptable but like i wouldn't be into that too much but with the three entries that i've reacted to uh poland spain and ukraine they're actually like not very kid-like you know what i'm saying like of course there are kids so there's that kind of youthful jubilance but overall they're pretty like pretty adult not adult themed but just like they don't sound like a child song, you know what I mean? And so I really actually appreciate that a lot because it really allows me to relate to these songs um, even more than I would a song that's really like childlike. And we may have some of those coming up because I haven't heard the rest of the 2020 entries or any other JESC entries from other years, but so far with Poland, Spain, and Ukraine, that has really impressed me too. So. Let's move on to the second entry that we reacted to, which was Spain. So Spain impressed me because of the vocals. First off, like she carried that song while doing choreography. And I really don't have much of a doubt in my mind that she will be able to do that live, right? I am very optimistic that um, Solea from Spain will be able to carry that live. Even that last um, high belt that she does, I'm confident that Spain is gonna 
allow her to shine in that while also putting together a really captivating stage performance. And I think that's really what, what, what will make this song stand out among the others live, is a really captivating stage performance um, choreographically, but also I would like if they pulled some of that, those Spanish um, visual elements that were so prominent in the music video, whether it's just the colors or whether there's some scenery, I would like if they incorporated some of those too, because that caught my eye at the very beginning of the video, if you remember the reaction. Um, also, I know that there's some uh, mixed opinions about these kinds of, um, about continuing to use these kinds of like wind instrument beat drops in songs, you know, that's been so popular for the past four or so years. But honestly, I'm not mad at it, especially in this case, because this is the kind of thing that like I've wanted Spain to send in adult Eurovision for so long. And Spain really doesn't do this as far as Eurovision goes. And so it's not like Spain has sent five of these kinds of songs in regular Eurovision and then they're doing it for junior Eurovision. Like this is really the first that I've heard of Spain doing this kind of like up-tempo song with a wind instrument beat drop that's really catchy, right? And so I'm not even mad at that. And plus, I don't think that song is quite out of style yet. Like, I think it's still um, quite popular, that style of song. And so, you know what? More power to Spain for doing that because it's something that I really like and I really appreciate that. And I'm super excited to see like what kind of party they put on stage um, with Solea. So, Let's move on to our final entry that we've reacted to so far. There will be another one this Wednesday, which was Ukraine that just came out yesterday. So I think overall, Ukraine impressed me the most because one, his vocals are really great and they're really different, but two, just because the song is so out of the box for a 14 year old, you know what I'm saying? It's like, <clears throat> as far as like Poland, I was like, wow, this is really adult-like content. But with Ukraine, it was like, I mean, I actually don't know the lyrics, so I can't say if the content is adult-like, but it's like a more adult style of music, right? It's really jazzy and quite dark. I mean, his voice brightens the song, but the song itself is quite dark. And um, I was just not expecting any of it. And I actually have downloaded that song and I've been listening to it and I really like it. Like this is a song, again, I mentioned in the reaction video, I could just like turn the lights down, light a candle and like just vibe out to this song in a really, again, a really adult way. And for a 14 year old to not only be able to have the vocals that he does, but to be able to convey that kind of um, darker jazzy energy with such proficiency, it really impressed me. And so, um, Oleksandr from Ukraine, now I'm not saying I have ranked these songs because I love them all so much. I'm going to try to rank JESC entries for this year before the actual show comes once I've reacted to them all, but it's going to be hard because like even thinking about these first three, I can't easily place certain ones above other ones because there are characteristics of each that I really, really like. Um, and so that's going to be interesting. But I think if I had to think of it right now, um, I would give Alicia my favorite vocals. I think she has the strongest vocals of the three. I think as far as um, uniqueness, I would go with Alexander. <clears throat> And then as far as like what I would want to put on as a party, of course, that's Spain. And so each of them has a really unique quality unto itself. And I'm super excited to get into more JESC reactions for this year um, to see like if this trend continues of just being really impressed by these kids. But I'm really just so happy for all of these kids when I react because I'm like, I can imagine how cool it must be that like, as a nine-year-old or 10-year-old or 14-year-old or whatever, you get to be like the center of attention. Like, I'm sure they're the coolest kids in school now. Like, you get to have all of these people from around the world like reacting to your songs, listening to your songs, 
like praising your songs. I imagine that's really cool. And so I'm just happy for all of these kids and I'll be happy for all of them um, regardless of what I think about the songs. But most, all of the songs I've done so far have been great. And so I am very hopeful. So anyway, I cannot wait to do some more JESC 2020 reactions. Like I said, there'll be another one coming this Wednesday. I don't know which country yet. Um, so if you have a suggestion, let me know below. But anyway, if you like this video, please like it and please consider subscribing if you have not. But thank you for clicking on this video. Thank you for watching this video. And as always, I will see you next time.